in this video we are going to discuss about access list statements so access list statements are basically a sequential listing of statements that also known as access control entries here so here if you see each entry in an access list is providing you the specific condition to provide the specified action here so you see the statements will look like this like access list statements permit host 172.16.34.2 so what purpose this is used you see it matches the packets with the source ip address of 172.16.34.2 only and permit those packets only here so again if you give a statement like deny host 172.16.32.2 you see here match packets with source ip address of this ip address only and deny those packets that means it will matches to the ip address and permits as well as if you give deny statement it will matches to the ip address and deny only those packets here permit any match and permit all and any packets that means any ip address packets or all the packets here so these are the basic access list statements here so when you see this several they, they have several deny and permit statements in the list and a packet is compared with each statement and then it will go with the specified condition given in that statement so if you see that the first line of the access list and it will compare with second third and fourth line of the access list then if the specified condition is matched to that lines then when it will permit or deny based on the condition given so if you have any some exposure to computer programming then here it is basically with the with with like a computer programming given commands there so that they will compare so you see the access list on cisco devices can either be named or numbered so coming to the named access list are reference here that with the name such as uet or certification kits here so coming to the numbered access list are those older methods of the acl so where each acl is defined with the number of such as 1 or 104 so in practice both number and named access list are being used and also believe named access list make your statements more precise and also the configuration readable and less cryptic that means the named is used more in the access list named access list so that this is readable as well as it is not very complex so this is about the named versus number as well as about the access list statements here